Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's 5th grade, Module 17, Lesson 2. I'm going to start off by going over the I can objective. It says, I can use a concrete or visual model to divide a decimal by a whole number. And the learning objective is to use a concrete or visual model to show division of decimals by whole numbers. The prior learning is that students explain division by using equations, rectangular arrays, and area models. Students divided using strategies based on place value, the properties of operations, and the relationship between multiplication and division. All right, so moving into the lesson, we're on page 425. We have a spark your learning that says Nicole and her five friends can buy bottles of lemonade individually, or they can buy a six pack together. So how much does each person save on the price of a bottle of lemonade if they buy the six pack? So the problem is telling you that buying the six pack is the better deal. We just need to prove why. So let's compare the two prices. So if I had myself or Nicole and her five friends, that means there's six individuals. So let's say we went the route of buying one bottle each. If each friend, six individuals, bought one bottle each, that price here is showing it's $1 for each person. So if each person spent a dollar on each bottle of lemonade, that means that for a total, they would be spending $6. Now we know that the six pack price is $4.80. So we know that the six pack price is a better deal because we're spending $4.80 as a group instead of $6 as a group. But the problem is asking how much does each person save on a bottle? So we need to figure out how much do they save as a group and then we can figure out how much they saved as individuals. So as a group, how much money did they save? Well, if we were going to spend $6 and we only ended up spending $4.80, how much money as a group did we save? Well, that is a subtraction problem. So zero minus zero is zero. I can't do zero minus eight, so I'm gonna go next door and borrow. So 10 minus eight is two, drop the decimal point straight down, and then I just have one. So I know as a group, we saved $1.20. So as a group of six people, we saved $1.20. So how much did each person save? Well, if we wanted to figure out equal groups, that is a division problem. So if I had $1.20 and I need to figure out how much each person saved from a group of six, I'm going to divide my 120 into groups of six, equal groups. So division by six. So six doesn't go into one. So I'm going to go ahead and put a decimal, or I'm going to go ahead and put a zero. For division, the decimal point goes straight up. So wherever my decimal point is inside of that little house, it's going to go straight on top of the house. So now I'm looking at 6 into 12. Don't read it as 1.2. Kind of once I move that decimal point up, just ignore it. See the 1 and the 2 together as 12. So 6 goes into 12 two times. And 2 times 6 is 12 itself. Now be careful here. You have to keep going because I have this open spot here. So 6 goes into 0, 0 times. 0 times 6 is 0. Subtract all the zeros. So each person in the group saved 20 cents per bottle by going the six pack route instead of buying one bottle each person. All right, let's go ahead and flip the page. We're gonna be on page 426. Number one says Yolanda buys trail mix from the bulk bin and divides the trail mix evenly among herself and her three friends. How many pounds of trail mix does each person get? Now I am going to help you with this number one, but I'm going to have you do A, B, C, and D on your own. So I'm going to help you with the visual model just because it's the first time that we've ever done this. So I know that the bulk weight is 5.6, and I know that she wants to divide it between herself and three friends, which means four individuals or four people are going to be sharing this 5.6 pounds of trail mix. So I want to create four equal groups. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just break this up into fours so I can see how much each person's going to get. 
Now, there's a little hint in bold underneath the word problem. It says, use base 10 blocks to show how much each person gets. So the problem is wanting us, as the visual model, to use base 10 blocks. And they give us a hint. It says, remember that a flat, that means the big square that shows almost like 100 little squares, is one. So it's place value of one whole. The long, so the line of 10 squares represents a tenth, so the number behind the decimal. And then one little cube equals a hundredth, so that would be two places away from the um, decimal. So if I have 5.6 and I want to divide it evenly among four, I'm going to go ahead. I know that there's at least five holes, right? Five ones. So I'm just going to start there and give each person one hole. So I took away four holes. So now what I have left, I started with 5.6. I already gave out four ones. So what I have left is 1.6. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. I don't know how to separate out one hole and then six tenths into four on my own. But I see that 1.6 looks like 16, right? And 16 divided by 4, I know that's very easy. That's just going to be 4. So how do I go from 1.6 to 16? Well, you know how we, if we were solving, we said if we had 16, we could redistribute it or rename it. I'm just going to undo that. So 1.6 is the proper name. I'm going to go ahead, almost like how we make improper fractions, I'm going to undo what I just did and make it an improper decimal point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 1.6 is the same thing as 16 tenths. And I kind of ran out of room, but 16 tenths. So remember, a tenth is one of those long lines. So now instead of one flat and six of those lines... Although, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get the right vocab. 16, I'm sorry. So one flat and six longs. So now I just converted my one flat into 10 longs and I'm adding it to the six longs I already had. So now I have 16 longs total that I am gonna be able to redistribute out into my four groups. And I'm actually gonna draw that just to make sure that everyone is understanding what I'm saying. So if I had one flat here as my one hole, and then I had six, one, two, three, four, five, six longs here, what I did was I just turned this flat into 10 longs. So now I have 10 here and I have six here. So I'm gonna have 16 longs. Hopefully that makes sense. Normally I would have visual models to show you um, on the camera, but right now I'm just using drawings. So I have 16 longs that I want to divide up into four groups. So I know if I have 16 longs and I'm dividing it into four groups, I'm gonna have four longs per group. So I'm gonna give each group four longs. Now I have a total of 5.6 distributed evenly between all of the groups. So now here's where you're going to go ahead and try to do this on your own and explain what we just did together. So for A, how did you use base 10 blocks to represent 5.6? So in words, try to explain what we just did. B, describe how you divided 5.6 into four equal groups. So how did you get 5.6 into those four equal groups? Just explain what we did. C, what number is represented by each group? So we put numbers into four equal groups, but what is that number in standard? We have it in visual form, but what is it in standard form? Can you put those images back into numbers? And then for D, how many pounds of trail mix does each person get? So when you find out that number per group, that is going to be your total for D as well. Go ahead and try to explain these four problems as best you can. And we'll come back and we will solve it together. Go ahead and hit pause here. All right, great. Let's go ahead and go over this. So for A... How did you use base 10 blocks to represent 5.6? So for the five ones, I used five flats. And then for the 0.6, the six tenths, I used six longs. 
So describe how we divided 5.6 into four equal groups, where this is where we only took four flats. Then we took one flat and we turned it into, so one flat into 10 longs. And then we also just had our six longs together, which equaled four flats and 16 longs. All right, so for C, what number is represented by each group? So we have one flat, which equals one whole point, and then in the tenth, we have a four. So that's going to be 1.4. So how many pounds of trail mix does each person get? Each person gets 1.4 pounds. All right, great job in this. Go ahead and finish up the rest of your problems, and I'll see you back for lesson three.